painting yes. too, right? Yes. So when did you start doing the face painting? Oh, wow. Um, probably when I was a kid. I want to say like around eight years old. Um, yeah, we would make it very, very colorful. I guess the more color, the better. <laughs> they say that you want it as decorative as you can be to kind of like make yourself be known or show yourself more for your ancestors for when they come. So I would wear the brightest lip gloss, a more glittery eyeshadow ever my mom had laying around. So I've been doing it for a couple years. How did you kind of figure out how to do it? Um, so it took a little bit. My mom is not the best at doing face painting. Um, I feel like at first it was simple. It was just like her eyeliner, but then she would get mad at me. So my father would buy me like the one dollar things from the dollars the dollar store and I would start doing that. Uh, it kind of evolved with time and then some of my family members does do makeup. So uh, kind of incorporate that into it to kind of make it seem more like, more real in a way. So we would put the eyelashes, the glittery eyeshadow we still do, the lip, lip gloss we still do. Um, so yeah, I guess it really just depends on our mood and how much we make up we really want to put on our faces. Mm -hmm. um, I like to go sometimes half. If I know it's going to be like hot and I'm going to be in it all day, I probably do all my whole face if it's like a cool weather. Um, but yeah, it kind of goes with the outfit though. <laughs> right, and then I know you guys would do it for, at the restaurant, dress yes. up around that time. Um, besides that, is it more of like a thing to wear to a party? I mean, I feel like you might not do it if you just get home with your family so much. Not as much. Is it much. more of kind of a social, like if we're going to get out with other people? Yeah, for it? sure, for sure. Um, so we at home, we typically would not do the face makeup. We would do all the other stuff. We would um, make the tamales that we do, which are like the traditional foods that we make in corn husk or in banana leaf. Um, we make a lot of pan. My mother makes the bread, traditional pan de yema we call it. Um, and we usually wake up the next day to drink it or eat it with hot chocolate. Um, so it's more of being together, eating the traditional foods, eating the foods that your ancestor loved. Um, so we wake up early, my grandfather loved to drink, so my uncles would like take care of making the mezcal and preparing everything the way he loved it. And even though they didn't like it, but they would still drink it a little. Um, so my ancestors also loved, um, it was, there's a lot of food that was loved, but the mole negro was our most traditional thing. So my grandma and my mother would take days preparing just to make the sauce and to get it going. Um, so we would still dress up. We probably might have our hairs done, our ribbons done in our hair, or something typical. When In Mexico, when they would meet, they would dress up with a skirt, face is done, everybody would be looking at their best, um, carrying all the stuff that they made to kind of offer it to the rest of the people who are there. So it's it's a big celebration, even though you don't really know some people, you still end up meeting them there. Um, it's very, brings people together, for sure. It's very united, and I feel like that's how we usually start making more relationships with other people, getting to know other people, and I feel to keep the family together. Yeah. Who are some of the people that you're remembering in Dia de Muertos? Wow. Um, so definitely my grandfather. Um, my father's dad. I was a child so when he passed away. Fortunately, I never met him. Um, I met him over the phone. He met me through pictures. Um, but they, every year on his birthday or the day he passed away or on the day of the dead, my father tells us really great stories about him to kind of keep him alive. So he's not with us, but we sure know him through all the stories my father tells us. Um, my uncles also, they get together. So when we eat at the table, it's stories about our loved ones only. Um, so for sure, I, my biggest one is my grandfather. So. I haven't, I've been really fortunate. I have my whole family with me, so I feel like maybe just one.
one, but a couple pets maybe, but <laughs> but yeah, just just grandfather. <laughs> but yeah. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you.